Yeah, I think starting out with the test, um, we haven't played a test in eight year or seven years, uh, so we struggled a little bit to adapt quickly enough to that format. But uh, I think the girls did really uh, reasonably well. I think we could actually have won that one if we just had a little bit more experience. With the ODI, we couldn't be happier because it was hard work all the way. It's their conditions, and everyone. Um, Everyone pulled in, Chloe Tran gave us two massive innings and then Nadine got a 50 in our final one and I got my best performance of the tournament on my last ODI so I was blessed in that format. And the T20 we messed up a little bit but um, the, it, for us the ODIs were the important one because of the rankings for the team. It was emotional, definitely. I was. Um, I went on the field crying, but uh, you get them. Um, as soon as the first ball was started, I was in it again, and uh, the support from the team and the staff and everyone, the support staff around me, the, uh, my friends and family, colleagues, everyone's support from home made it a little bit easier just to say that you've given it to all. Maybe it's uh, and well done and how it's going. So it was very emotional, but um, I couldn't have asked for a better end. Um, for the rest of the season, I'll be out from any form of cricket um, due to a knee operation now on the 4th of December. And then I still coach at school and I play. And from next se season onwards, I'll be available for provincial and club level still. But um, other than that, I enjoy coaching at school. I love um, working with the kids. And um, maybe I'll go into an administrative role somewhere in cricket in the near future. So.